So, EE, the people behind Orange and T-Mobile, have told customers that they have to return these free portable chargers that they've been giving everybody out. Now, I wanted one of these and I actually went ahead and ordered a EE SIM as soon as I saw that they was giving them out and I was like, oh yeah, I could get one, it would be amazing. Imagine the fact of me being able to charge my phone on the go and all this stuff. And let's put it this way, I'm glad that I actually decided to not get one really because half a million of the products have got faults within the product and it has put many 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 customers at risk you could say half a million customers if you don't know ee is the uk's biggest mobile operator it used to be like o2 and all them lot that were really really big and then orange and t-mobile most of you may know t-mobile if you're from overseas and all that but orange and t-mobile merged together to make ee or it was that I, I don't i don't understand what happened between them but all we know is they just suddenly became ee there was like a thing a little long time ago where they started sharing network signal so if you had a t-mobile phone you could also connect to the orange signal and if you had an orange phone you could also connect to the t-mobile signal and i used to be on orange and i used to like that because orange used to be really, really good you used to get like orange wednesdays and stuff and it was brilliant you could like get movie tickets two for one and all this awesome stuff it was a really, really good network and you know when it went i was pretty sad because now it's ee and that's not the same is it so ee has 30 million customers and among among those customers were 500,000 power bars which could carry a fault it's not said that they definitely will carry a fault but it's said that they could carry a fault and this fault makes the device overheat it makes it prone to overheating and usually there's like a security st system involved to stop devices from overheating and obviously in these units that doesn't exist it's faulty and the fault causes it to overheat and allows it to overheat and stuff like that so what brought this to their attention it was last month when a medical student in Aberdeen had her bedroom set on fire by her battery pack exploding and and because it exploded she also got seriously burned so that is obviously really 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 bad and on Wednesday EE had said it found five power bars of a specific batch marked E1-06 to have the fault and asked the customers with devices marked E1-06 to return their packs immediately now it is good that they're being precautious even though they've only found it in five bars with that particular marking they are still asking for the returns and it is a nice gesture that they would offer this battery pack for free to their customers but what you have to really look at in the long point is is sufficient testing going on in devices because we see all these devices setting fire all the time there was that Wii U in the caravan not not too long ago I think it was a caravan or a camper van or something I don't know what they call it in America he went to work came back and it was his Wii console or his Wii U console it's set fire I can't remember it the exact details of that but you know I'm sure if you remember you will tell me down below in the comments now the problem is is it is said to believe a third of the 1.5 million power bars are in circulation currently have the marking of E1-06 which means hundreds of thousands of customers could be at risk and even though many of these packs are in stores instead of in the public's hands these particular models are one of seven batches of these power bars and no issues have been found in the other batches of power bars now the reason why batteries can explode like this is because batteries are actually made of lithium iron so like your phone battery and all these power bar batteries a lot of these rechargeable batteries are made with lithium ion battery and lithium is less dense than other metals which basically means that it allows it to store more power but with that means that it can be more highly reactive with like electrics and when it wears down it can deplete and cause even more faults there's many many problems and i think there was like a battery in development 
development that's called like a smart battery or something like that that tackles this problem but it's not out yet and it obviously needs to be quick because I fear even my phone exploding I don't have my phone on my bed anymore ever since I found out that your phone can explode I have it on the side charging so basically I really think that EE should hope that their announcements have reached out to everybody in the public really because it just takes one person with that faulty device and to not know about the fault and you know that fault to just happen and explode and there's another problem there's another incident and you know it's it's not good really it isn't i think more testing should be involved and new developments in batteries should be a focus because if lithium ion batteries are of such high risk and highly reactive to electricity and heat and like when it becomes worn it's even worse and it's, it becomes a hazard really it genuinely does i've never thankfully had any issues with batteries they've usually died out before they've actually exploded or anything i'm not too sure how common exploding batteries are but it's obviously enough for them to looking to developing newer batteries obviously it's still a huge risk and i hope ee get their word out to as many people as they can so if you have one of these power bars and it's marked e1-06 make sure you return it to your local ee store and yeah you, since you got it for free anyway it shouldn't be much of a problem it's more safety over reliability really because you know though the power bars are nice they look beautiful they seem like they'd be really really good and i wanted one and when i actually got around to getting one it was like ah oh, out out of demand mo momentarily on hold or something like that it said something along the lines of that and i was disappointed but i'm kind of glad now because what if i had one of them devices it would probably make me throw all of my lithium ion powered devices away but like no i'm not going through that if there's a risk of a fire i don't like it really any risks of fire is not a good idea but yeah i would like to know your opinions down below do you feel that more testing should be involved in lithium ion batteries and the development of newer batteries should be the full front force of research in the mobile devices field tell me down below again thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later you guys are awesome